I love my job. I think like we're doing the, like being a DP is the best job in the world. Hi, I'm Ludovica Isidori. I'm an AFI cinematography alumna and I'm the DP for Test Pattern. I think we should go to the hospital. The movie is not just like about sexual assault. It's about consent. How consent show up in our life, like whether it is in, in an episode of, of sexual assault where obviously there is no consent, but also like consent within a couple. The biggest conversation was how do we open a conversation? How do we like bring up questions without necessarily offering answer? What if you have a sexual encounter with someone who at the beginning is fine and then just gets too drunk and then is not able to give you consent? You know, it's closer to real life, but also in a way where like it was approachable and digestible to like the most without just creating a pushback of like, oh, no, 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 but I'm not that guy. I don't need to be part of that conversation. With Shatara, it was like, she's just unapologetic and she was like this is the story I want to tell because I want to you know shine a line on consent I want to expose systemic not just racism but inequality of like the American system and mostly the L system I want to be specific but also intimate and like and all those elements that made her story hers and no one else you know were the the other part that like just took me and it was like, yes, you have to shoot this movie. The movie has a very specific color scheme, which sort of defines the three parts of the movie. Everything before the fact, everything after the fact, and the fact, the, the assault. And one of the choices that was made was to avoid completely the use of red in anything, lighting, props, uh, clothes, until the attack so you know when we were in the bar the moment our confusion start going up start rampling we start using like streak filter like really heavy ones so you have these like lights like expanding and streaking across covering faces it could feel like oh she's drunk or she's dragged and that's it the other levels and the other thought behind it was the confusion that you're that's created in your mind when you're thinking about you know a traumatic experience and you have a body memory of it but then there's your rational mind who's just fighting it and like trying not to remember and not to place it we go from the bar where it's like very a swooping movement of steady cam and then we cut to a car which is like really uh it's like purple colors and pink colors like almost non-realistic and then you cut to the room where it's pieces it's a piece of her it's a piece of like very static out of focus like segments And, and the idea is like, yeah, when you, when you black out or when you, you know, when something traumatic happens, your mind, it's almost living this constant struggles to like put together sensation, smell, bodily memories. And, and, and at the same time, it's fighting it. So it's, it's almost like pieces that don't quite create a whole. And, and then it ends with this like, Zolly, which is very artificial, very um, uneasy. You know, we shot most of this moving location. Um, and so we, you know, when you're on location, you kind of have to deal with what's there. But the corridor was gray because we were shooting in, in a hotel. And so we were like, okay, how do we, how do we link this to where we're coming from, which is a bar? And, and, and the assault scene, which has this like glimpse of red, not just red light, but red walls. And, and so we gel manually. Valentina, Valentina Martinico is another AFI grad who was my gaffer. Uh, we stick gel to every single tube in, in the hallway. 
and uh, and then we have the exit sign which is naturally red and so you have this like really gray cold like refrigerator like hallway with this red light through in slow motion the, the shutter speed it's off so it's almost like wobbling like woo woo to be almost in a lucid dream one of the things i'm most, most proud of from this movie is that it was really intentional and Shatara and I soft prep and prep for like many, many months and like trying to go back to a, to a cinema, like to a concept of cinema where you make decision, you know, you, you make decision, you have rules that you can break or, or not, but you try to, to create a language and a vocabulary and like to sort of inform every decision with meaning intentionality and meaning and, and, you know, believing in the fact that taking stands and making choices does make a difference. 